Education is one topic where they don't always see eye to eye. Governor Abbott is taking aim at the federally funded Head Start program. Abbott's criticism can be found in a policy book outlining his big plans for Texas classrooms. KXA and education reporter Erin Cargill explains it's getting mixed reaction. If you want the scoop on what Governor Greg Abbott wants to change in Texas schools, look no further than his policy blueprint. 68 pages are devoted to education. We think there's some, some good ideas in there and we think there's some questionable ideas in there. The Texas Classroom Teachers Association is all for Abbott's plan for higher quality pre-K, calling on the state to track results and reward schools with cash who achieve long-term success. But the group is worried about Abbott's solution for struggling schools. He wants to place them in what's called an achievement district and bring someone in from the outside to run it. And our fear is that what it'll do is actually decrease parent and community involvement in and control of schools. In an effort to be more transparent, Abbott also wants all campuses to stick their report card that might look like this on their website at the top of their home page. He also has a bullseye on Head Start, calling it a failing federal program with disappointing results and wants parents to choose state-run pre-K instead. I was not aware of that. Linda Welsh is on the board of directors for Child Inc., Travis County's Head Start provider. She says recent studies show students are gaining the right skills and would like the governor to take a look at their partnerships with local school districts. We pair a pre-K teacher with a Head Start teacher Teacher. So there are um, two teachers for 20 children, and all of those children get the comprehensive services that Head Start provides. Only time will tell how Abbott's plan will play out. Aaron Cargile, KXAN News. In addition to a new governor and lieutenant governor, there are many new faces at the state capitol. With 24 first-term representatives and eight new senators, it will be one of the most conservative legislators in Texas history. Lawmakers plan to tackle several key issues, including the open carry of handguns, school funding challenges, paying for our highways, and property and business tax cuts.